What's going on, nation, and welcome to Bench Break, episode 10, Will Weightlifting Stunt Your Growth? Now, this is a question that gets asked a lot, especially by our younger Hermonites. And usually the question is brought up because obviously they don't want to stunt their growth, or a lot of our younger lifters aren't even allowed to lift because their parents think that this is going to stunt their growth. Now, this is a pretty big topic, so I'm going to break it up into four different sections. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to fully understand why weightlifting actually will not stunt your growth as long as you're doing everything properly. Let's talk about growth plates. Now your growth plates are located on the ends of your bones. And as you're growing up, they're the last parts of the bones to harden, so they're soft. Now it is possible that you can severely damage that growth plate and stunt the growth of your bone by having something happen to it, like a really severe injury. And in some cases you can even have one limb that's longer than the other if it's severe enough. But you stand more of a chance of damaging your growth plates by playing a high contact sport than you do weightlifting. And think about this way, let's take football for example. You know, in football you're constantly getting hit, you're getting tackled. So you stand more of a chance of somebody fracturing your bones by getting tackled than you do performing proper form on a bench or a squat or a deadlift. Now when you're weightlifting, you're just lifting weights through the, the, the natural range of motion of your body, as long as you're lifting with proper form. So unless you're doing a squat and somebody grabs a 25 pound dumbbell and hurls it at your spine, chances are that you're not going to be damaging any growth plates while lifting as long as you're practicing safe, proper form. In my experience, nutrition is the number one factor when it comes to whether or not you're going to stunt your growth. Even more so than the weightlifting. In fact, I think that you would have more of a chance of maximizing your growth if you focused on your nutrition and kicked weightlifting to the curb. Now obviously I don't want you to do that, you should be weightlifting, but this is just to prove my point. And I'm going to relate it to myself and to a few sports that I had in my own observations growing up. Now most kids, they just don't eat. And there's no such thing as a hard gainer. The only thing there is a such thing as is people who don't count their macros. Everyone I talk, who I talk to who says they're a hard gainer, I ask, okay, you're a hard gainer, what are your daily macros? And they go, I don't know. And also I notice with a lot of young kids is that they, they know that they need to count their macros, but they don't do it. And there's this gentleman that, I, that goes to my gym and he came in for a month straight. I asked him once a week because he's complaining that he can't grow. I said, go home, count your macros and utilize this video. So now I'm going to put this video here for you and this is for your own test. And if you tell me that you don't get any growth and you don't watch this video, then that's why. Anyways, not to ramble on, this video shows you exactly how to calculate your macros, protein, carbs, and fat in order to reach your goal of whether gaining muscle or losing weight. So I had this guy, well, he was a young kid, I had this young kid watch this video and for a month straight he didn't calculate his macros but he still kept coming in the gym and complaining that he was seeing no growth. So if you're a hard gainer, that's probably why. You need to know your macros. Now growing up I did a lot of sports and I did a lot of weightlifting and I noticed that especially on the wrestling team, I wrestled for eight years, now a lot of those kids that I wrestled with, they're relatively short and I've come to a few conclusions. Me growing up, I refused to cut weight for wrestling. I always made sure if I was hungry I ate food and because I knew I was weightlifting and I was wrestling and I didn't want to have to worry about starving myself. And I'm glad I did that because when it comes to proper nutrition, if you're, not, if you're trying to lift weights and play a sport and be very active, but you're constantly in a calorie deficit, your body is not getting the nutrition it needs in order to not only keep up with its daily tasks, but to repair itself from all the extracurricular stuff you're doing, whether it's weightlifting or sport or both. So you need to make sure you're getting the nutrition in. Like I said, young kids, they just don't eat. I wish that when I was younger, I ate more food. And I used to think to myself, wow, I used to eat a lot when I was a kid. But I usually ate junk. Like I wasn't focusing on a high protein meal. I wasn't focusing on, you know, I was eating a lot of candy and drinking a lot of soda. I wish I was just eating more chicken and steak. You know what I mean? So learn from my mistakes. I also have four brothers. For those of you who don't know, I have four brothers. And I came to another conclusion just by kind of sitting down and making this observation. My older brother, George, he's two years older than me. He's an inch shorter than I am. He didn't do sports growing up. 
he was kind of active. He, I mean, he's re relatively skinny, but he's an inch shorter than me. My dad's like six feet, six foot one. I, most of my family's really tall. But I noticed that he never ate a lot of food. He was always, he was like a bird. We used to call him a bird because he never ate. So for him, even though he didn't play sports, I feel like he didn't eat enough food in order to maximize his potential for how tall he could actually grow. Now, I did do sports growing up and I did do a lot of weightlifting. I worked in a gym since I was 14. I did eat more than him, but looking back, I wasn't counting my macros. It's information just wasn't made available to me. No one really taught me this stuff. So even though I was having protein shakes at the gym and all that, I don't think I ate enough food to really maximize my own growth. I'm 5'10", maybe I could have been six feet, who knows? Now I have three younger brothers and I hate them because they're all 6'1 and 6'2". Now they don't play sports and they don't go to the gym and weight lift. However, they do eat a ton more than my older brother did when we were kids. So I feel like for them, they were able to maximize their, their growth because they were eating and they were getting enough nutrition in order to maximize that. And even though they weren't going to the gym, they're really skinny, all that nutrition went to repairing their body's regular normal functions and they were able to maximize their growth. When it comes to sleep, this is a subject that we really don't think about, especially when we're younger. Most of us just think if we eat enough protein and go to the gym, we're gonna grow and maximize our results. But believe it or not, sleep is just as important. When you sleep, that's when your body's recovering and that's when you're releasing something known as HGH or human growth hormone. If you want to learn more about HGH and how it's released while you sleep, you can check out this video over here and it'll explain it all to you. But basically it breaks down like this. If you're not getting enough sleep or at least eight hours a night, chances are you're not hitting that slow wave sleep, which is the deepest sleep you can be in. And that's when your body releases the most amount of HGH. And now HGH is just not responsible for just like your, your, how tall you're going to grow. It's responsible for your overall growth of your muscles and bones. So if you want to maximize your results in the gym, as well as making sure that you're not, you know, minimizing how tall you're going to grow, you want to make sure you're getting enough sleep. And there's a lot of distractions out there, especially if you're going to school. I mean, you're waking up super early, going to school all day, possibly playing a sport, working out at the gym, hanging out with your friends, playing video games, watching TV, and you're probably on the computer to the, you know, late hours into the night watching videos like this one which if you're watching this video right now and it's really late at night, finish the video and go to bed and maximize your sleep. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is genetics. Now obviously if you come from a family where everyone's around five foot, five inches tall, the chances of you being a seven foot two basketball player are pretty slim to none. So obviously genetics play a really important role here and if you want to maximize your genetic potential, you need to follow the instructions in the last three topics we talked about. So in conclusion, do I think that weightlifting is going to stunt your growth? No, I don't. If you're going to be weightlifting, make sure you're lifting with proper form. And if you're going to be playing a high impact sport, obviously be as safe as you can. Injuries and accidents can happen, but you can take precautions to ensure that you're avoiding injuries as much as possible. When it comes to nutrition, make sure you're eating enough food. And if you didn't check out that video on how to build your meal plan, make sure you go back to that section and click on it and watch it after you're done with this video. When it comes to sleep, you need to make sure you're getting enough of it, at least eight hours a night if you wanna maximize your overall growth. So if you need help building a routine, you can check out our beginner's hypertrophy guide over here and if you have any questions about your current meal plan or even your current routine in the gym, you can join the community and I in the forums by clicking on this link right here. I'd be more than happy to help you out and get you on track with your goals. So for more great tips, exercises, routines, and meal plans, be sure to join us on scarhermanfitness.com. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.